Congressman George Miller III has his name on the new northbound Benicia Martinez Bridge. His fingerprints are on many other vital projects. Joining together as a congressional delegation to get BART to the San Francisco Square Port we knew was very important in terms of making it a regional system. And we also decided as a congressional delegation we wouldn't compete against one another. We'd, we'd set up a sequence of extensions of BART uh, as areas grew and became more important to the ridership of BART and it's worked out really well. And we were lucky uh, that he took up BART, uh, not just that time, but uh, often in his career. Uh, and you see BART extensions around the Bay Area, uh, in the East Bay and at the airport, that benefited from, from that really fierce advocacy that George could bring to bear. The southbound portion of the Benicia Martinez Bridge is named after Miller's father, the late George Miller, Jr., who represented Contra Costa County in the state legislature. The newer northbound portion is named after George Miller III. The idea of having uh, two bridges named for my father and for myself uh, is obviously uh, exciting for our family. And it also shows the growth and the change in the area. My father was replacing a ferry boat and I was my, the bridge that was named after me was accommodating tremendous growth and traffic between the Bay Area and, and Northern California. The Recovery Act of 2009, which Miller helped craft, brought crucial support to the region's transportation network. The inclusion of, of, of transportation infrastructure in any economic stimulus plan is important because it means jobs right now. We were in the worst recession since the Great Depression, and uh, the passage of, of, of the stimulus package uh, meant that uh, pe people could go back to work, whether they were architects, engineers, laborers, steel workers, uh, the, the whole gambit of American uh, uh, infrastructure could be put back to work, and it turned out to be very successful. Congressman Miller is being honored with the John F. Ferran Award for Legislative Achievement. Senator Ferran recently passed away after a long career shaping California transportation policy, including sponsoring the legislation that created MTC. When you talk about John Francis Ferran, uh, uh, you're talking about one of the icons, certainly in California transportation and nationally in transportation. He was all about transportation all the time and became a huge innovator in terms of the integration of, of systems and modes of transportation. And obviously the San Francisco Bay Area and the state of California have really benefited from his forward thinking. As Congressman George Miller retires from Congress after 40 prolific years, he leaves behind a rich legacy for our region and the nation as a whole in transportation, education, and the environment.